Hello students, uh, we are going to discuss problem on module 1. Uh, in that model, we are going to discuss a uh, problem based on uh, it is a wall. The here problem is like this. I will read out the problem. A furnace wall is made of composite wall of total thickness 450 mm. The inside refractory material that is K is equal to 2.3 watt per meter Kelvin and outside layer is made of an insulating material K is equal to 0.2 watt per meter Kelvin. The mean temperature of the, the glass inside the furnace is 900 degree centigrade and inner face temperature is 520 degree centigrade. The heat transfer coefficient between the gas and inner surface can be taken as 230 watt per meter square degree centigrade and between between the outside surface and atmosphere as 46 watt per meter square degree centigrade taking air temperature is 30 degree centigrade calculate area uh, that is a uh, sorry required thickness of each layer and second one is the rate of heat loss per meter square area and third one is the temperature of the surface exposed to the gases and surface exposed to the atmosphere so these are all the things we are going to find out Okay, before that, uh, solving the problem, let us, uh, we'll understand uh, how it is the problem, okay. Uh, we'll uh, sketch the wall, okay. By understanding the problem, we can sketch the problem. Uh, Okay, this is one body, okay, another body is there, there, okay, here, in between there is a heat transfer coefficient. So this area maybe we can consider, okay. This is one material that is we call called as A, and temperature of this one that is T1 and this is different material like this that's why I am showing in different way so this entirely different material okay this will be B okay this is refractory material A having a refractory material Ka that is 2.3 watt per meter Kelvin and insulation insulation that is KB 0.2 watt per meter Kelvin so this is uh, T1 T2 and uh, this value is becomes T3 and this is H C F H H F this one okay so here the length there is L A and this is L B okay up to this much now in this uh, what are the theta the I given we have to write it first given data That is total thickness of the wall. Total thickness of the wall. That is LA plus LB 550 mm. We can write 0 0.55 meter. 
and k is k is 2.3 watt per meter degree kelvin and kb is 0.2 watt per meter degree kelvin and thf th tcf outflow temperature temperature of the hot side is uh, 900 degree centigrade and corresponding temperature of t2 is 520 degree centigrade and here tcf 30 degree centigrade and H, hf is uh, 230 watt per meter square Kelvin and H CF is 46 watt per meter square Kelvin. So these are the data they have given. Now you can calculate what is the thickness of each layer. So to calculate the thickness of each layer. thickness of each layer that is L and LB we don't know what is the thickness that we are going to find out okay with the combine is the AQ1 so first one the rate or heat flow okay so heat flow that is Q is equal to Q by A. Q you know THF minus T2 divided by 1 by HF. HHF minus sorry, plus 1 LA divided by KA. Okay. So again further this equation also equals to T2 minus TCF divided by 0 0.55 minus LA divided by KB plus 1 by HCF. So equating equation 1 and 2, equating equation 1 and 2, what we get? We get we get that THF minus T2 divided by 1 upon HHF plus LA plus KA is equal to T2 minus TCF divided by 0 0.55 minus LA divided by KB plus 1 by HCF. Okay, now 100 minus 520 1 by 230 plus LA by 2.3 520 minus 30 0.55 minus LA 0 0.22 plus 1 upon 46 okay further we can write 380 0 0.55 minus LA divided by 0 0.2 plus 1 by 46 490 1 by 230 plus LA divided by 2.3 so 1045 minus LA plus a point two six is equal to two point one three plus two point one two hundred thirteen LA. So now two one one three LA is equals to one thousand fifty one 
point one three. So LA becomes zero point four nine seven meter or forty four hundred ninety seven point mm. This is LA. LV is equal to 550 minus 497 because LA plus LB is 550. You total, you know, total amount of length uh, 550, you can deduct this one LA, you will get 53 mm. Okay, LB is 53 mm. Once if you know this value, we can calculate further. The rate of heat loss per meter square. Mm. The rate of heat loss per meter square area that is Q T H F minus T two divided by one upon H H F plus L A by K A. ETH of 900 minus 520 divided by 1.230 plus 0 0.497 divided by 2.3 this cube becomes 380 divided by 0 0.004348 plus 216 that is 1724.5 watt per meter square this is the final answer hope you guys uh, you followed this problem so practice similar kind of problems okay thanks for watching this video